one with the little baby? Raven <laughs> might be a little bit bored. Holly might pass him off to a friend for a little while, and he'd be right back to top me going, Oopsies! <laughs> It's so good to meet both of you. I've been a big fan of both of you for many for for a while. So <laughs> I really nice enjoy you too. getting to talk to both of you. And we're limited on time, so I'll get right to it. Um, with, with recording lines remotely uh, becoming so much more prominent with the pandemic, uh, were you two able to record season two lines together? Because e.g., you doing the coo kachu kachu uh, to make Dill laugh uh, would be a <laughs> hilarious day. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Uh, being able to do that in the recording booth together, I would imagine being a humorous day on set. <laughs> the answer is no, we actually don't oh, work no. together, but that it was really sweet when in the days when we used to work together. But I think you and I also often didn't. We because didn't. a lot of it, we did too. Very but then little. There were a, a, a lot of it just me because so much of what I was doing was exposition or like not exposition was happening in the stage directions, right? So it'd be like, baby Dill grabs Tommy's toy, whacks him in the head, poops, you know, like, so <laughs> I think a lot of time you were with the other babies. I was with the Although other we did have too. more in, in-person sessions and it's always fun to do that. And we know each other so well that we're pretty good at knowing, how like figuring respond. out how he, she's going to say something or yeah. how we're going to respond. And COVID, like in the old days, we'd work together. And then there were times we worked with a couple of us at a time and COVID just wiped that out and everybody was working from home and in our own booth. Which by so. the way, we're super grateful. COVID hit people really hard. So we it's like we a huge gift that we got to yeah. work still from home. And anyone that had a setup was ready to go. I mean, I think animation is probably the only leg of the business that didn't really miss a beat. Uh, once the world shut down. So we're pretty lucky. Well, my next question is for uh, EG. Uh, the episode involving the newly trained Spike uh, and the babies going on a deserted island uh, in the backyard reminded me of a, one of my favorite episodes as a kid where they're like pretending to be pirates in the backyard. Yeah. Um, I was wondering, uh, what's your opinion on what makes Rugrats uh, resonate so well as it did now, as it did then? Well, I think... Um they didn't change the essence of the characters, the character, the babies and everything through their perspective and, you know, snacks in the diapers and, you know, all the little original things that we loved and, you know, how wide and vast their imaginations and the adventures took them. I think that none of that changed and the relationships didn't really change all the charming things, all the tough parts, all the silly parts, all the funny parts, all of it just came back to this, um, the new, this new version of Rugrats. But the difference is now, obviously, the CGI is so spectacular that you get to see these characters and in their in their adventures through their perspective, now looking at things from a much more incredible um, visual. Um, I just think it's, um, I don't know, it's just incredible to me. It's incredible. You know? Is it incredible? Incredible. Do you think it's incredible? <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, poopy! Oh. <laughs> well, uh, next one for you, uh, Tara. Uh, curious how you think a day with Dill would go with other characters that you famously voice. Uh, say, if you were in charge of the crossover storylines, what would a day with Dill and Harley Quinn go? Or a day with Batgirl? <laughs> or a day with Bubbles? Well, Bubbles would have a lot of fun with the little baby. Raven <laughs> might be a little bit bored. Holly might pass him off to a friend for a little while, and he'd be right back to top me going, <laughs> <laughs> I would watch all of those. Um, uh, next one, uh, EG. Uh, Tommy's always been like the character that seems to represent optimism and determination more than almost any character in fiction, I would say. Yep. Um, if you were in charge of the story, what sort of profession do you think Tommy would be best at as an adult? I think maybe he would be um, an animal rescuer because he loves, yeah. he's so kind and he really loves um, he loves people. I think he loves everybody. He's just kind. He sees the beauty in everyone. And I think he would do something really special and sweet. That's what I think. Or maybe that's me that thinks that. But then <laughs> who am I? Gonna... <laughs> well, I really appreciate they're giving me the time to wrap up. But uh, thank you so much. And I wish you good luck thank in you. your future endeavors. Thank you so much.